you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato and thanks for stopping by my channel again. This is a really quick video. I only have a little bit of footage, so check it out. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> See you then. Gorgeous, isn't it? Uh oh, she's gonna fly away. If you look at those antenna waving, it reminds me of the Queen Alien at the end of the movie when she gets flushed out of the airlock and uh, she's waving those arms really fast. It just totally reminds me of that. Kind of funny. So, Swepties are actually found in the eastern U.S. and they actually cut holes and tunnels into rotting wood and that's where they live. They lay their eggs in there, and I guess they raise their offspring in there and have up to two or three generations a year. They get the name Sweat Bee because they, you know, sometimes lick the sweat off of humans. I guess they're after the salt in our sweat. I'm not entirely sure on that, but aren't they beautiful looking? Really cool bees. So there's a dead one I found um, before I actually caught the living specimen. And take a look at that stinger. That's pretty significant for such a small bee. I'm pretty sure that these aren't really blue nor green, but it's actually a refraction of light. It probably catches and holds all colors of the spectrum and reflects back this blue or green, but I'm not sure. Color in the insect world is a very interesting thing. Um, same goes for the bird world. A lot of time the color you see on a creature isn't the true color. It's either an illusion or the color that's bounced back at us. Pretty cool, isn't it? I really love those Agachlora bees. They're just, they're just so brilliant. Anyhow, once again, I'm Chris Ignato, and thanks a lot for watching, guys. Signing out.